Hello, welcome back to IT Security Labs. And today we are doing packet analysis from day 13 of Advent of Cyber. And it looks like from the malware that we we're investigating yesterday, something actually happened on the network and we got a pickup file. So we need to go and analyze a pickup file and answer a few questions here because we'll be analyzing network traffic, try to understand what happened on the wire before we got infected. So our first question here says, view the protocols hierarchy menu. What what is what percentage packet value of the HTTP protocol? So we started our machine. We need to go to Wireshark. We can import or drag and drop. I like the import option. So we'll double click on Wireshark and start Wireshark right now. And then once Wireshark is started, we'll go to file, open. Then we can go all the way to our desktop. This is the, our pickup file and open. So pickup files are a network capture that we can get from a network. And this is a transaction of what happened at the time of a, an attack. And so far we just see a bunch of packets. And our question here is saying, go to the protocol hierarchy menu. And in order for, for us to do that, we just have to go to the statistics and we can go to protocol hierarchy. And we'll look here, we're looking for HTTPS or and what percentage that is in hypertext protocol is 0 0.3. So that's our answer for the first one here. All right. View the conversations, navigate to TCP section, which port numbers have received more than 1000 packets. If we go to uh, statistics conversations, we're looking for something that is received more than 1000 packets. And we look at this you notice that uh, for those who have received more than 1,000, we have this one here. And the destination port was 3389. So we can use that. I think that's the answer. Which port number? And submit. Okay. What What is the name of service use protocol that received more than 1,000 packets? So that's going to be RDP or remote desktop protocol. RDP. Okay. Filter the DNS packets. What are the domain names? Enter the domain names in alphabetical order and defanged format. So defanged format means that we just, instead of just putting a normal domain, every time there's a dot, we put these uh, square brackets. We can use um, virus store for this, or we can just defang them by hand. So for that, we go back here. We remove our previous. We just type for DNS. And here we have a three. We have cdn.banditieri.thm. We have the best festival company.thm and best festival company.thm. So those are the two that we see. And we defend those by removing the dot with a square bracket. Okay, so once it's defanged, best festival company.thm, cdn.banditieri.thm, and they're right here. All right. So next it says filter for HTTP um, HTTP packets. So we we'll go back here. So DNS, we do HTTP. Okay. Now what do, what do they want? What are the names of the packets file of the requested files? Enter the names in alphabetical order in defined format. So if you go back here, the packets that were requested in the get request was mistrugift.exe and favicon.i. CO. So these defanged, we just put a square bracket between gift and exe and between favicon and ICO. favicon.ico and mystery.exe. Okay, which IP address is download the executable file? Enter your answer in defanged format. If you go here, the executable file was coming from the source of 10, 10, 29, All right, so defanged. It's 10, 10, 29, 186, not 129, like I said here. I misspoke. It's 186. Which domain address hosts the malicious file? Enter your answer in defanged format. So if we go back here, the mistrugift.exe came from that IP address. Okay. So now let's follow that stream. It's an HTTP stream, but we just follow a TCP stream. And if you look 
through this you should see the domain name so host is cdn yeri bandit.thm and this defanged should be cdn with the square brackets here and the square brackets here okay so i don't know what what i was doing wrong but i had to retype it again what is the user agent value used to download the non-executable e file so the non-executable was the other file if you http non-executable is, is this favicon here follow tcp stream so we're looking for the user agent it was this http client whatever this thing is all right export objects from pickup file calculate the file hashes what is the sha 250 file of the executable file so to ex uh, export objects we remove all the filters file export objects uh, http objects so we see two files mystery give.exe that's the one that we want to calculate the hash for uh, this is going to be in the home maybe let's put it in the down downloads okay and close open our terminal so let's go to our downloads there is no r i always do that <laughs> shout 256 sum and here is our hash and I see where this is going. Virus total is coming. Search the value executed on virus total. Navigate to the behavior section. There are IP addresses uh, associated with this file. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so going to virus total, you search for virus total in your browser. And if we paste the hash and search for this, they say go to the behavior section. Oh, by the way, it's laced with being reported as malicious. By a lot of them but if we go to the behavior section we notice that um, we should have some ip addresses here here's a list ip traffic and here's dns for <laughs> google but we also have a bunch of other tcp so what is the question here enter the ip addresses defanged and in a numerical order so we need to enter all the ip addresses from our list Defanged means the dot should be a square bracket. So let's enter all these in a defanged format. All right, so defanged, this IP address looks like this. So these are all the IP addresses we found on virus total right here in the list. Just with the dots replaced with the square brackets. So let's see if that works. Awesome. So we just completed day... 13 which is a very easy room using wireshark if you've never used wireshark please spend some time here otherwise thank you very much for being here and this was a fun room again learning cyber security and i hope to see you next time thanks for being here